If you guys have been watching these videos for a while, you probably realize that Spongebob has so many adult themes, adult jokes, and some very dark episodes. Now you're probably thinking about it as a kid, like what? Spongebob ain't do nothing wrong. And then there's this episode where they literally clobbered this dude. Is that the food inspector? Oh my god, this would be so crazy in real life. Like, if they tried to unalive and bury the food inspector, if he didn't pass their restaurant. Okay, this let's watch. Get out. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. I thought he might need some air. They don't need air where he's going. <laughs> SpongeBob is just so innocent. Like, Mr. Krabs said to bury him. Well, he's my boss, so I'm just, I'm gonna bury him. Also, His head's sticking second. out. They're underwater. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. I thought he might need some air. What do you mean, need some air? They're literally underwater. I mean, technically, he would need air where he's going. Because if you're trying to get rid of him, you want to give him air. Because he's a fish, he would die. Not so bikini bottom logic, huh? This next one traumatized a bunch of kids growing up. This was so bad that this episode was actually banned in some places. This is from the British show Pingu. It aired in like short episodes. If you guys haven't watched the show, y'all probably seen this penguin. And there's this one episode in particular. The episode starts off, Pingu falls asleep and then has this dream where his bed grows legs and starts walking around the South Pole or the North Pole. No, he's in the South. And then this giant walrus like emerges out of nowhere and scares him. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> and then the bed tries to run away. Oh no, he's been captured. <laughs> Loki, this is kind of funny. <laughs> So they banned this show because they thought the walrus was too scary for children. I mean, imagine being three years old. You'd be shaking. I mean, it's like as scary as it is funny. But anyway, he captures him and then he newts through the bowl. Oh, wow. He's very squishy. I would squish him too. Do you like to him? Oh, wow. <laughs> also stretchy. Loki, this is how my dreams be when I take melatonin before I sleep. It's like the weirdest things. Yeah, literally nightmare fuel. Where are you going, Ben? Oh no! He ate the mattress! Oh no. Ron Pingu, you're cooked. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, and then he slipped and slided. Into his bed! <laughs> oh, all is fine. Mother is there, and your mattress has not been eaten. Excellent. It's all just a bad dream. Honestly, this is exactly what it feels like. When you close your eyes and feel yourself drifting into sleep, and then you feel yourself falling, and then just like, <gasps> that's exactly what it feels like. It's funny now, but if I saw this as a child, I would be traumatized. Actual nightmare fuel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the this, and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and comment below. Let me know which clip made you say wham.